Well, how did it come to be that you would sign with the WWF? And were you worried about your spot in the business with WCW and ECW closing? Not really, you know, because uh, they were doing that thing. Paul had come there and, and uh, um, you know, I was always, it was kind of like a mentor too. Uh, I had Edge and Christian. I went to them with a lot of questions. Um, I was just going to work, you know, and that's what I did in Germany. And, and they always used me. Um, uh, they seen the potential there and they used me. And then I went to ECW and Paul seen the potential and, and they used me there. And I, I always fit in any locker room I was in. And then when I went to WWE, uh, well, WWF back then, uh, I just fit. You know, and I had Edge and Christian there. They were like, uh, Christian came up to me one time. Um, this is after I started. He goes, uh, you know, and I had signed. And Austin and Triple H, they were talking in the um, cafeteria. They go, oh, we're, uh, I heard we just signed that uh, Rhino guy from ECW. Hopefully he's not a, you know, a jerk or, a, you know, whatever. And, and An Christian, oh, yeah. Yeah. what's that? An a-hole. Right, right. I'm trying to keep it. We, know, we can it. cuss on this podcast. You're fine. Okay. So basically, uh, Christian said, hey, listen, no, he's a good friend of mine. He's a great guy and he'll fit in well. Because, you know, Kurt, I mean, someone comes into that locker room and they've got the wrong attitude. You yeah, know, they're not going to be around. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So so they said, no, he's great. So I had that, too, you know, and uh, it was a little adjustment. And then once I got to WWE, I noticed, you know, working every night with guys, you know, that were so fine tuned. A lot of guys in ECW were fine tuned, but it's just like I felt, you know, I got even better, you know. And then I never really worried about my spot because if I went there, I showed up and I worked hard. I knew um, I would have a, a, a good position. So.